Have you ever found yourself doodling when you're on the phone? It's very relaxing, isn't it? So let's try a little Zen doodling today with a flare. Zen doodling is a form of artistic meditation as we become completely engrossed in the process. It helps us to relax and relieves us from the stress of the day by becoming just you and your pen. This is my book that I like to doodle in and I've carried it around with me and I've got a few doodles in here. And when you do Zen doodling, you really need very little in the way of supplies. I recommend a small journal, um, mixed media paper or watercolor paper. And I have a couple here. This is just your basic mixed media journal and a very inexpensive pad of watercolor paper. And this is what I like to carry around with me and you just need a few little tools and I have just a small assortment of pens that I like to use and the pens that we use for Zen doodling with a flare. I like to add paint to mine when we're finished. Permanent markers are what I do recommend. So one of the good ones is a Sharpie Ultra Fine Point pen. Another one is an Identa pen permanent marker. And another personal favorite is a Micron Pigma Archival Ink Permanent Pen. And then you're going to need a pencil. Any pencil will do. And an eraser. And of course, a paintbrush. Put that with my paints. So this is my journal, just to give you an idea of some simple doodles. These are what we do just to relax. And the thing with Zen doodling is there are no mistakes. Because any mistake that you make just gets worked into the piece. So these are a few. Just any shape turns into a doodle. If you don't know how to draw, if you're not comfortable drawing, you can start with just a simple squiggle or you can draw, and in this case, I've drawn a couple of simple flowers, a daisy and a very basic simple rose flower. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do those. Just to start, you just take a pencil, get a nice piece of paper, and we're just going to Turn our brain off. We don't want to have to think about this. There are no mistakes. Mistakes just get worked into your piece. Anyone can do it. And if you're not comfortable drawing, just try some clip art. Just find your favorite clip art or coloring page off of the internet. So in this case, for a simple sketch of a daisy, which I find is a very easy flower to do, I just start with a circle. Then I'm going to just sort of pull out some leaves. I don't want a perfect flower. We don't want that. So just quickly sketch it out. Or you can go straight with your pen. And it doesn't need to be. I just want some basic shapes. You ever find yourself sitting there waiting for a doctor's appointment in a doctor's office or sitting there waiting for your car to be repaired? You find yourself just fiddling, twiddling your thumbs. Carrying a journal around in your purse with a pen is a great way to turn to relax. So in this case, I've sketched out a very basic flower. So now I'm going to start with my ink and I'm just going to just go over, not even following my lines perfectly. Just going to go and I'm just going to draw. Just let the pen go wherever it lands. I'm not going to try to change the direction. I don't want to think overly about it. I'm just going to let it go. This is the only hard part, getting started. And then I'm just going to do a simple circle. Now what I like to do when I do my drawings, to get into the mood, to turn my mind off, to just take the stress away and start to relax, is I just like to fatten my lines. And I'll just go over them and just create little wiggly lines. And then I just fill them in. There's no right, no wrong. I'm already feeling relaxed. 
And if you color outside of that, you just make a fatter line. doesn't matter where it goes. This is a very inexpensive way to create. It does help to also add a level of confidence. If you're new at art or you're changing, you want to change how you do your art. We all doodled. We doodled when we did. Talked on the phone. We doodled in our school books. It, it's almost a natural process to start to doodle because it is a relaxing. It's very therapeutic and it makes you happy. You can take a stressful situation and just start doing this and you'll find yourself starting to get relaxed. No mistakes. It's a great way to start your, your little sand doodles. Now you don't have to use mixed media paper, but because I'm going to add paint to my drawings and my doodles, the mixed media paper will allow me to use many different types of mediums. I can use whatever I want to use. In the case for here, I'm going to use the DecoArt Fluid Acrylics, my favorite medium to use in my journals. And when I create my drawings on mixed media paper, is I seal the paper. And I'll seal the paper when I'm done with DecoArt's matte medium, which will create just a nice little seal on the paper. It doesn't create a finish, so you can still continue to do your inking after you've added some paint. Dries very quickly and doesn't leave a buildup. You see how quick and relaxing that is? And that's the very beginning and now I'm just going to start adding some circles. I'll put a circle in the middle and then maybe some cross hatching. There's no right, there's no wrong. You just let it go. Whatever happens, happens. Maybe I'll add some circles. Use a lot of circles and lines. A lot of my a lot of patterning. I find a number. In my case, I like to use fives. I do a lot of my patterning in sections of fives. And sometimes the fun is actually going back once you've created your design and just filling in, making things wider, some of the lines a little bit thicker, adding a little bit more black. Nice thing about the permanent markers when you work with this is they do work with the fluid acrylics, they do work with the matte mediums, they do work with paint and they won't smear. So even if you add water or paint, your, it won't smear. So there's a very simple flower and then you build off of that. We just spend hours, days, minutes, however long you want to spend and just create a leaf. Just pull out one leaf and we can pretty much, anybody can really draw a leaf. It doesn't have to look like a perfect leaf. It doesn't matter. Just wherever your pen goes because you can create different looks with it by fattening the lines. In normal perfect circumstances, I would have this journal on my lap and I would be curled up in my chair with my pen and I would just doodle. Pass the time away. Great for a sunny afternoon, sitting in the park, 
Even thinking about that takes my stress away. And then I create a leaf and then I can add a little bit of patterning to the leaf. Just very simple. Just lines. You can never go wrong. Just start with some basic lines and you'll find different patterns. You start creating patterns on your own. And this is just one of many patterns. Just some simple straight lines. And then you could pull out maybe another leaf. Just draw a leaf somewhere and then bring it down to something. Fatten the lines. And then try some different lines. Maybe I'll do some stripes. Some stripes going a little bit different, maybe. No rules. My line a little bit. There. Just some simple, simple designs. And you can work to fill the whole page. Now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of color. So in that case, what I do is I will take my DecoArts matte medium and I would brush it over top of this page to seal it. I can still go back with my pens after and add more, do more doodles, but I want to add some color because I want to be happy and color is going to make me happy. So I've already prepared this leaf these leaves and flowers with a coat of matte medium. And if you don't, if you prefer, and you don't have matte medium and you just want something a little less messy and a little bit more simpler, is you can use watercolor paper because watercolor paper is already designed specifically to take water and moisture. So it's two different ways with a coat of matte medium. So what I'm going to do as I'm going to show you quickly how we're going to add just a little bit of color to these with my Decorate Fluid Acrylics and I've got some blue and I've got some green and I've got some red of course because I have a red, red rose and I add a little bit of paint. Don my little palette and you need very little because it is, deck, it is Fluid Acrylics and I've just got a little round brush just to get started. And I've got a little piece of paper towel. I just wet my brush and I'm going to pull out a little puddle and just create a little wash of paint because you don't want a lot of paint. And then because I want my daisy to be blue, because blue, I love this blue. This blue always makes me happy. And I can paint my flowers. There, painted a blue flower. And now I'm going to paint some leaves. Clean my brush and just take out a little bit of wash of the green. And this is not stressful either. We're just adding color. The transparency of the fluid acrylics allows all your black to, to stay bright and black. The only color that will wash out the black would be to add white or gray. And you don't even really need to be a painter because I'm just coloring with this brush like it was a marker or a crayon. You don't need to be an artist. Just a nice little hobby to keep you relaxed. 
And just for a quick reference, I'm going to show you quickly on watercolor paper. You can paint nicely as well. That easy. And I think we'll just finish the flower off with a little bit of yellow. And flower center. Now you've created just a very simple doodle, a little zen doodling, and added a little bit of color and created a beautiful flower. I hope you found that as relaxing as I did. Thank you for painting with me.